Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you today. I uh, picked up a couple more Halloween items, so we'll go through those first. My store is slowly uh, decreasing the amount of Halloween that it has, so I can see that that's going out now as well, and more and more Christmas is coming in. So the first item I picked up is this really cute window cling with eyeballs on it. I figured there's a lot of things you can do with this. I also picked up this really cute Halloween ghost. I'm going to hang him in my tree. Later today, I'm going to be putting up all of my Halloween decorations. I'm a little late this year. I normally do it right around the 1st of October, but I've been so busy. So today's the day. It's all going to go up. I also picked up this adult size Halloween hat, witch's hat. Thought it was really pretty. And for one of the last projects that I'm going to be doing for Halloween this year, I picked up five packages of this white creepy cloth. So I'll be using those in a project this week. I also picked up a roll of this Halloween ribbon. I'm also going to be using this in one of my final Halloween projects. And then I picked up this really cute which is cauldron to hold the candy that we pass out for Halloween. I did pick up just a couple fall items. I picked up another package of the white pumpkins. In one of my previous crafts, I used everything that I had. And this next item, I had been in probably five or six stores in my area. I had not seen any of these until the last time I walked into um, one of my local Dollar Trees. I don't know if it's something that they just got out or if they found them in the back or what. But there are these magnets that go on your refrigerator, your locker, whatever you want, and they are Thanksgiving or fall based. So they had two to choose from. They had that one, and then they also had this one. Now, like I said, I hadn't seen them. I'd been looking at five or six stores, and then boom, it just showed up in one of the stores. So I thought they were really cute. I also picked up some more craft items. picked up one of these bamboo wreaths. I figured I would try it out and see how well it works. They are 12 inches. So I just grabbed one to try. Now when I went down the food aisle, I was really surprised to see these. Um, in other stores, these are very expensive. So to find it at the Dollar Tree, I was really surprised and quite happy. Christmas is coming, so these are really good to use in crafts. They are a large package of cinnamon sticks. And the cinnamon, cinnamon sticks are quite large. Oh, they smell so good. I picked up two packages of those. My Dollar Tree also started to get in um, some fabric. This is a craft fabric. And they had several different ones to choose from. So I picked up two of the pretty candy cane, red and white. I picked up three of the black and white buffalo check. I know the black and white buffalo check is so popular, so if you see it, you want to grab it right away because the next time you go in, it probably will not be there. And I picked this one up. I thought it was really cute. It's just white with polka dots on it. And then they also had some fabric with the little red truck. Let me go ahead and open it. It's kind of hard to see the pattern when it's all rolled up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I picked up two of these. I also picked up a package of their buttons. Most of these are black. There are a couple in there that are other colors but I mainly wanted it for the black buttons. With the Christmas crafts and doing snowmen and things like that, the little black buttons will really come in handy. I also picked up a Sharpie. This is ultra fine. They had it in black. 
They had uh, some other sizes too, but it's hard to find the ultra fine ones. So I grabbed one in black. Now the Dollar Tree also started carrying more and more of the wood cutouts and wood figures. And I found these really cute little figures. This is an elephant. It's three dimensional. You can paint them. I also found a rhinoceros. And a giraffe. These are great, especially if you have little kids, whether it be a boy or a girl, because you can paint these to uh, match their room. You can paint them more uh, soft pink pastels for girls and paint them more normal for boys. So these are great. They're inexpensive, a dollar a piece. You can paint them at home and they would make a great addition to any child's room. They also got in uh, some more sizes and shapes of wood cutouts. So I picked up one of these, nice oval, and do a lot with this. Either use it as a base for another project or make a sign. And they also had this shape, which I thought was really pretty. Has a lot, a little detail around it. Now, when I got into the book section, I was really surprised to see that they got a bunch more books in. I'm always excited when I see that because I, I search and look for something, see if I can find a gem in there. And sure enough, I did this time. Now, if you don't know me already, I love cookbooks. I have a large collection. I pick them up whenever I see them. So I found they got a whole series of cookbooks in. There were about six of them. I picked up four. The first one is a no prep slow cooker cookbook, really nice pictures, I'll show you. nice glossy photos. The next one that I found that I just had to pick up is called Express Lane Cooking. Again, it's a nice shape and uh, size of a book. Has lots of really nice glossy photos. The next one is called Seriously from Scratch. Again, nice glossy photos. Lots of goodies in there. Sorry, they don't say how much they originally went for. Uh, this one has a price tag of originally $12.99. It's called Easy as Pie Puffs. Small in size and huge in flavor and fun. And again, got nice. Glossy photos. It's a good book. Lots of really good ideas, both sweet and savory. So whenever you go into your Dollar Tree, make sure you check out the book section. You just might be surprised at what you find. Now in the stationery aisle, I was able to find some new planner stickers that I had not seen before. You get 300 planner stickers. And it's nice, you get a good variety. They have a lot of flags and things like that on the front. And then on the back, it's a little bit more decorative. And these are mainly based, it looks like, for vacationing. Bon voyage, today, stay, Vacation, reservation. So this is more um, travel based. Now I went back down the snack aisle to see if they had more of these because in one of my uh, last hauls that I did, I picked up some to try. I'd never tried them before, and they are fabulous. And they are these Munch Right snacks. Now they have two flavors. This is the cheddar and sour cream. Picked up two bags of those, and let me tell you, they're not going to last long in my house. <laughs> I 
And then I picked up two of the Munch Right in the Apple and Cinnamon. Now these are very good. They don't taste funny or anything. They have, um, they're baked and not fried, so they're better for you than your traditional puff type snack. Now I did pick up a couple other odd items. Um, I picked up the Kiss Clear Polish. I like this because it's still the gel. Um, I tried the LA Colors Clear Top and Base Coat, and that works okay, but what I found is it tends to start to peel off the top of your nail, which I thought was really kind of weird. I don't know if the product was old or not, so I'm going to try the Kiss Clear Gel. Now when I went down the candle aisle, I found these really cute tea light holders. They had a they're the same color type, but they had three different patterns to choose from. I thought they were really pretty. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they have the ombre effect where they start pink at the top and they slowly fade to a blue at the bottom. And this has these little swirls. And this has the same color ombre, but it has a little bit of a different texture. And this is yet another different texture, but the same ombre color. I thought that was really pretty. I thought putting three of them together, having that same ombre color, but the texture being different, kind of in a cluster would be really pretty. Okay, let's get into all the Christmas goodies. When I went into my store, the first store I went into, they had just hauled out all of the boxes of all the signs and they hadn't even started putting them up yet. I was so, so like, oh, I'm a day early. Doesn't that always happen? So I got in the car and drove to the other one that's in town and sure enough, they had started putting up their signs. And let me tell you, they have some really cute ones this year. So the first one I'm gonna show you, it looks like a tag, the shape. It says, home for the holidays, and it has the little red truck on it. Very cute. They have another one that's similar to the one I just showed you. This one says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's also shaped like a tag. And I can hear. And it also has that faux wood looking background. Now they have this one. It also is shaped as a tag, but it's a little bit larger than the first two that I showed you. And this says Noel. And this is Santa and it says Joy. And then these two signs kind of remind me of a snow globe shape. And it says, let it snow. And I picked up two of these. Oops. Get out of the way so you can see it. This next one, brand new this year. They are so cute, they finally got on the ball, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Look at how cute, and he's got the dangly legs, he's a Santa. These are going to go fast. Crafters are gonna swoop these up. So I picked up two of these, and it says, Santa stop here, very cute. They also have the really cute little elf with the dangly legs as well. These are going to go super fast. And it says Santa, Santa's elves see everything, don't they? Super, super cute. Picked up two of those as well. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not, but Dollar Tree does have a catalog that they set out uh, for certain holidays. They just sent me their new October through December 
catalog. This shows a lot of their Christmas stuff, but it doesn't show everything. So if you get this and you look at it and you're like, oh, well, they don't really have anything I want. Don't think that this is only what they have in the store because a lot of the signs I just showed you are not in this catalog. So just be aware of that, okay? One of my stores also started getting in their Christmas cards. So I went ahead and picked up a couple. Now this one is, it has 12 cards in it with their envelopes. And inside it says, may your Christmas be filled with magic and splendor of the holiday season. Merry Christmas. I thought that was really pretty. And this one I just thought was so cute. It says, let it snow on the front. And inside it says, wishing you all the joys of the season. And again, you get 12 cards and envelopes for a dollar. This is a great deal. Now I went ahead and picked up some of the candy cane wreaths. I did pick up four of them. There are so many different things that you can do with the candy cane wreaths besides making a simple candy cane wreath. You can make reindeers, you can make unicorns, you can make bookworms. There's all different kinds of things that you can do with them. So that's why I picked up four. I'll be using a couple to do Christmas and a couple to do mm, some other things. Any item that I saw this year that I haven't seen in the past in Christmas uh, that my store got are these really cute little tins. Now why I like them is they have a clear window in the front. I have great craft ideas for these because of the window. But the pattern is super cute. They had several to choose from. This one has all the little candies on it. Very, very cute. They also have this one. It has little trees on it and a red top and a window. And then they also had this one. Very cute. And this one also has the window. Now these are not only great for giving uh, as gifts filled with home baked goods and stuff, but this, especially with the window, you can do a lot of crafts with it. So stay tuned. I got a really cute one coming up with these. So I went ahead and picked up some more miniatures for the holiday season. I picked up another package of these. It has Santa, a little guy playing in the snow, and a person holding some wreaths. I picked up another one of these. It's got uh, a sleigh with presents and a snowman and a little guy shoveling some snow. And then this is a new one I didn't pick up last time. It has a bench and some street lights. These can be used for more than just the Christmas village. Uh, Dollar Tree also sells do-it-yourself snow books. You can use them in that. And then you can also do little miniature scenes. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing these. Another new item that I found in their Christmas crafting section are these berry garlands. They are nine feet. They did not have these in my store last year. I did find some at the 99 cent store, but they didn't have very many to choose from. So they have it in the red, I just showed you. They also have it in gold. And then white. And I like it that the twine that it's all attached to is a neutral tone. Lots of possibilities for crafts with them. I also picked up some ribbon. I got this really pretty red ribbon with some white snowflakes on it. This silver ribbon that says believe and has white snowflakes on it. And then this white ribbon that has silver snowflakes on it. I'll be using these in crafts coming up for the Christmas season. I was also really happy to see that they finally got in the little nutcrackers. Now these are really nice this year. They're very well made. They are plastic, they're not wood, but they look really nice. They're well made. The paint on them is done very well. 
I like them. Here's another one. I just think they're super cute. And I'd say they're probably six to eight inches in height. So that's a good size too. Next one. Super cute. They did have some more, but I just picked up the few. I did find another new item in the Christmas crafting section. These are called Cedar Picks. You get five pieces in a package and they're very silvery. They do have glitter on them, but they are quite large. So I picked up two packages of those. These are great for wreaths or centerpieces, or even just helping to decorate your mantle or maybe the center of your island. Add a little bit of sparkle. And then I also picked up a package of their, of their wired garland ties. So you get 12 pieces in a pack. I picked these up. Um, I have a project where I'm going to be using some of the small uh, Christmas trees that the Dollar Tree sells. They don't have a lot of greenery on them, so I picked up a package of this in case I wanted to add a little bit more greenery to it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that huge haul. All kinds of goodies and so much more Christmas stuff. I can't wait. They're still unboxing even more. Well, if you like hauls, crafts, and DIYs, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the little notification bell once it pops up, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Enjoy your day. And don't forget, the Dollar Tree is getting all kinds of goodies in, so get on down there. You take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye.